because I was sweating so much all through the night, even though the AC was on. You have blood stems in your mouth. Are you sure you're taking your drugs? Yes, Mom. I think it's just allergy. Maybe something that I ate. It's okay. It's okay, dear. Yeah. Let me go and wash your mouth. Oh, okay? Mom, leave me alone. That's what I was about to do before you came and started disturbing me. Baby, you were about to do that, and now your mother is here. Let me help you do that, okay? Mom, I can take care of myself. Now I'm a grown up woman. You'll always be a baby in this house. And what if I get married? Is this how you're going to be forcing all over me? Mm -hmm. Don't think of getting married anytime soon. Because any man that will want to marry you will have to live in this house with us. Mom! We don't want to lose our little girl. <laughs> you're not losing me. This ailment is a very minor thing. Moreover, mm -hmm. it's not a life threatening sickness. Who, which man wants to get married to me and come live in my parents' home? Baby of the house, let's wash the face now. What were you doing? Well, I've been doing so. Why did you keep me outside waiting? Well, I forgot that. I'm sorry. I told you not to keep me outside for more than five seconds. That's why you So why did you keep me for 20 seconds? Come here. Why did you keep me for 20 seconds? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're sorry? So what should I do to you? I should I be sorry? Okay. I said come here. Should I be sorry? Okay. Come here! Come here! I said come here! Do you want me to fire you? Come here! What do you want me to do to you? Uh, 
Madam, pardon me, Madam. I should pardon you. Madam. You don't raise up your hand. You have to bring it to the office. I can't attend to it right now. I said. Miss Kate? Yes, Ma. Why are you taking calls during working hours? I'm so sorry, Ma. I just received an emergency call. My mother just collapsed, and my attention is needed. Are you saying that your calls are more important than the work you are paid to do here? No, 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 no. It's just that this is a life and death situation and... Look here. Your work here comes first. Every other thing is secondary. And it attracts a penalty. Am yes, I understood? Yes, ma'am. Can I take two days off to attend to this situation, Yeah, yes, you can go. Thank you very much, ma. Thank you. You know what? You. Pack all your personal belongings because you are fired. Mr. Mike, yes, take note of this. An effect changes immediately. Get a replacement. But, but ma. Do you want to join her? No, no, no. no. Good. I'm oh, sorry, ma. Calm down, okay? Please. Kate, I know your mood. You, you feel terrible. Trust me. But for a matter of fact right here, we're both victims. She, she knows fully well that we are dating. And, and she chose to humiliate you right in front of me. And everybody in the office, they saw it. And I felt very bad. But believe me, she even threatened me with my job. So I, I feel no less humiliated myself. But... It's okay. I'm sorry that I lost my phone. I mean, it's I mean, you're right. I guess you're ready to as well. So, so what do you want me to do now? For what? For this? Oh, I don't want you to go in there and be so drunk as possible. You and I know how Sharon is like she's a small character. No matter what anybody says, she's never going to change. Sharon is always in Sharon. And I really don't have time at this point. Like, I really need to. My, my best kit. My best kit. She just left. Our Margaret Thatcher has done it again. Another innocent girl just got humiliated out of the company. And this time around, 
My own Kate. My own Kate. Oh, 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 Mike. Why? Mike, 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 just calm down, okay? Calm down, it's okay. It's okay. I think it is time we do something to that man and less girl. Don't ask me what I intend to do. I know what to do. Don't, don't just ask me. Just go back to your office, okay? And face your job. I'm inside of I just saw you coming out of that shop. I admire you a lot. I must confess, you're so beautiful. By the way, I'm Mr. Desmond. You're very stupid. Do you think I'm going to believe your cock and bull story? Pardon? What did you just call me? I said you're very stupid. Do you know who I am? Hmm? Young lady. Do you think I belong to your poverty stricken class? Young lady, be civilized. You don't talk to strangers like that. My manners stuck right inside your stinking ass. Look here. Next time, you better look at the faces of the people you approach. I don't belong to your class. It's an insult to me for you to approach me. Something like you. Don't you try it next time. I'll forget my hands on your face. Don't try. Look at this lady. Oh. What do you think you are? Forming for me. You're just an empty cargo. Driving an empty car. The goods in my shop, just one of them can get you your car. Stupid lady. Try this one. Let me have this. Don't tell me that one is not sweet. Something is not sweet. Shall I manage it? Okay. I'm trying. Mm, I know. Try. Try harder. I need an orange. Hey, show me an orange now. My husband, they call me. Eh? Hello? What are you talking to? No, my husband. I'm telling you that this orange is not sweet. This is crazy. Sorry, ma'am. Ma Which husband? Sorry, ma'am. What husband is that? Sorry, this miserable man that cannot give her money. Shut up. Ma, we are paying her so much money and she's here telling me that that miserable man is calling her. Sorry, ma'am. Are you stupid? Sorry, ma'am. In fact, I'm not even drinking the orange again. Okay, Get out of here! Sorry, ma'am. Stand up! Sorry, ma'am. Get out! Go, go. Get out of here, you loser! I... I'm sorry, ma'am. If I come back here, pick the orange up. Get out! Thank you, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Sorry for yourself. Sharon. That was so harsh. Mom, I don't want the orange again. If I want pineapple. What if you don't want the orange? Don't talk to her. Mom, oh, leave me alone. I have this one. This one is sweet. I don't want it again.
Are you not arguing with me? What number? Pick those books. What? I said pick the books. Yes, please tell Sharon to see me as soon as she gets upstairs. Thank you. My dad. I just saw you on the CCTV slapping a man. Now, how could you slap a man of such age? He bumped into you? Yes. And when you could be slapping? That was a big deal. Now you know how these things irritate me. Irritate you? Yes. Is that what you can say? And the only response you could give is to slap him? Don't ever do such thing again. You hear me? Dad, I'm sorry. That's okay. Now come here. No. Come to daddy. <laughs> Come, then, Dad. I don't like No! I'm always watching out for you, my dear. Come on. Just be a good girl, that's all I ask. <laughs> okay? That's my girl. <laughs> Wait, let me mimic her. <clears throat> Mike, come here. Have you seen this? Did you look at this? Is this what you're paid to do here? My friend, would you go back and do it like this?
Thank you. Thank you, Dave. You can go. Thank you. Mr. David, thank you very much. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I've always told you to take your medication all the time. Hmm? What could have happened if this boy wasn't there to save you? But mom, we've had worse crisis and I did not die. I think it must have been something that I had. Yeah, I think I reacted to something that I had. Maybe it's just something that I'm allergic to. Uh, no, 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 lie down. It's okay, lie down, it's okay. Okay, mom. Please, Sony. always take your drugs. Yes, okay. Mom. Should, in case you eat something that your body is allergic to, it won't get to this extent. Yes, mom. That's the essence of the drug. Okay. okay? Sorry. Sorry, baby, sorry. because I need your help. I will be very, very comfortable if you personally handle my issue with your company. Old man, I am not your daughter. I can never be your daughter. So stop addressing me as such. And as I said, I am not an accountant. I am one of the directors in this company. And I cannot be reduced to a common accountant. Am I understood? Find your way to the accounting department and get your problem sorted. If I'm wearing the security, can I see what's going on here? See you? Oh, Dave, go get the security immediately. And I tell you this man. Get the security for who? For a client? Our client that needs your assistance? Are you talking to me like that? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Can't you help someone? Can't you help someone for once? Just once? Have you lost it? Have you lost your manners? Oh, you think the world is at your feet, right? Help, help, just help. How could he be so rude to me in public? Who is he? 
Who does he think he is? Who is his father? Well, why am I not even upset about this? I mean, maybe because no one has stood up to you before. Nobody has stood up to you before, Sharon. It makes me so calm. David, see me in my office now. Good day, madam. You called me. Apologize to me right now or there'll be a penalty for your behavior. I will do no such thing. Madam, I'll forgive you if you insult me or slap me. Okay? But you cannot talk to an elderly man in such a manner. Madam, if telling you the truth is a crime, then I am ready to go to jail for it. You're someone I respect a lot. I will not stand and watch you destroy yourself. No, I won't. Madam, the only person that needs that apology is that old man. That old man you insulted and not you. I'll be in my office and I am gladly waiting for your punishment. Good day. Can you come with me? Let's go back upstairs. Why should I go back since you don't want to help me? I just said that I'm sorry. Okay. You are sorry. I have changed my mind. I want to help you now. You want to help me? Yes. And I sincerely apologize about the way I spoke to you. Please, can we go back upstairs? Actually, I came with my car. Just trying to be nice. Uh, thank you for being nice. Okay. You came with your car? Yes, ma'am. Where is it? Over there. Yeah. Oh. oh okay. Okay. okay.
Come here. Why are you dressed like a madman in this company? I'm, I'm sorry. Shut up! I'm, I'm sorry. I said! Shut up! Why are you dressed like a madman in this company? Do you think this is your godforsaken home? You don't know how to dress? Do you know that someone with huge influence can walk into this, this office and meet you like this? Hey. Hey, David. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Hey, 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 shh. You don't need to apologize. All I'm saying is that... Shh. Why are you apologizing? I didn't mean it like that. Like, I meant maybe you were in a hurry. And... You should be careful next time, okay? Look at that. Amazing people get that to work. No, 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 no. I ate yesterday. I, I'm not even hungry. Sorry, man. I'll be in my office.
already finished. How do you say for each year you're free to finish one pot? Good afternoon. They are avoiding my clothes. Can I have a minute or two, please? As you can see, I was about one hour before you came. Okay. Ignore my presence, ma'am. I, I am not hungry. I'm not yet. What the fuck? I was not here. You know I'm still your boss, right? Yes, ma'am. I'm mean, used to my boss. And that is why I'm trying to talk for you. I don't know any trouble. I don't know any. I try to respect you as my boss and your office. I don't want to overstep my boundaries. I don't. What do you mean by that? Meaning I was on my way out before you came in. I'm out for lunch. Let's go together. I'm going my Sorry. Forgive me something you're ready to leave. What did I do wrong, no? Why is he not answering his call? Baby, what's wrong? I heard you talking to yourself. Mom, I'm fine. It's nothing. Leave me alone, Mom. Oh. Oh, mommy said you should leave me alone. Leave me alone. Get in. Just Can please just get down. Just drive. Drive to where? Shall we get down? 
I didn't bring my car to work today, so you have to drive me. Sure. I'm not going straight to my house, okay? And I'm, 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 I'm not ready for this. Please, just get down. Please. Then, take me to your house. Just... Look, even if you take me to my house right now, I'm not going to come down. So just drive. Take me home to your house.
I will never ever let you go of my mind I will never ever let you I love you I love you Baby I love you I will never ever let you go of my mind I will never ever let you go of my mind I will never ever let you go of my mind yeah. I love you Monitoring my movement. I'm a grown ass woman, I can take care of myself. Good night, Mom. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. my boyfriend Good David Good David you already know my parents you're welcome 
David. Welcome to our house. Okay. Um, Sharon, make your visitor comfortable. I'll be in my room. Alright, mom. I don't think your parents like me one bit. They don't like me. I think I should be here. No, 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 baby. They like you, okay? Are you sure? Mm hmm Come. What? Come, come, come. Come and sit down. It's okay. No, come. I think maybe they're just stressed over whatever it is that is stressing them, okay? Just relax. Are you sure? Yes. You want me to make something no, crazy? No, 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 I'm, 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 I can cook. Serious. I, I, I can know, try though. I know, but I don't understand. Do you want something to drink? Hey. Sharon, I want to talk to you about your new relationship. Okay, Dad. What about it? I am not in support of it. Dad? You're not in support of it? I mean, which relationship would you ever be in support of? You and Mom have never supported any of my relationships. Will I ever get married? Look, Sharon. Your mom and I love you so much. And we think the men you have been coming home with are not good enough. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. David is a nice guy. I mean, he's well-mannered. He's respectful. He's comfortable. But we think he may not be able to handle the challenges when they come up. Dad, what challenges? Is it my health situation? You know it's a minor case, right? Even the doctor confirmed it. It's not life-threatening. Moreover, David knows about it. And he doesn't have any problem with it. You will not understand. Your mom and I will always be there for you. And so, you don't need all this fake love. Fake love? Dad, David's love for me is not fake. And I love him too. Dad. You and mom have to find a way to deal with this. Because I'm not giving up on this love. And that's final. Good night. I love you. I love you, baby. I love you. I will never ever let you go of my mind. I will never ever let you go of my mind. I love you. I love you, baby. I love you. I love you, baby. I will never ever let you go of my mind. I will never ever let you go of my mind. I'll never ever let you go off my mind yeah. I love you We're born alone We live alone We die alone Baby I want to ask you a question and I don't want you to flail If the question is um, too offensive I just wanted to ignore it, okay? Baby, what is it? I 
can never get upset with you. You know that, right? I want to know more about your health issues. I mean, why you get weak at times and uh, depleting thing. It's called hemophilia disorder. What does the meaning of that? It's a rare blood clotting disorder where the blood finds it difficult to clot because of insufficient blood clotting protein and also I'm allergic to certain things I hope it is not a life threatening issue No it's not. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, because I don't want anything to happen to you. Mm. If anything happens to you, I will not survive it. Nothing is going to happen to me, baby. I love you. Same here. I love you. I love you, baby. I will never ever let you go off my mind. I will never ever let you go off my mind. I will never ever let you go off my mind. Yeah. I love David, I called you here to make you an offer. Just claim anything you want, and I am willing to pay just for you to stay away from my daughter. Stay away from your daughter? And just make her stop loving you.
between Davis' office now. Huh. Where is David? I haven't seen him since last weekend. And I've been trying to call him on the phone. He's not picking either. But I intend to stop over at his end today after work.
doing, sir? Good evening, David. To what do I owe this visit? So, David, <clears throat> sir, I ask again, to what do I owe this visit? Um, sir, I... I can't stay away from your daughter. Even if I try. I just can't. Even if it means me losing my job, I, I don't mind, sir. But I want you to understand. <laughs> Mr. David Kinekanwa. <laughs> you mean you came to my house this night to tell me how much you want to deceive my daughter? No, 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 sir. Leave my presence. This minute. Come here, young man. If anything happens to my daughter, you will pay with your blood.
No, 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 please, please, please. I don't think I need this now. Let's sit down. There is something I need to talk to you about. You remember this, my, um, my partner's uh, wife? Um, mom? Okay. Dad? There's something I need to say to you. Oh, please, please, come and sit down. Come, 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 my angel. <laughs> so, what is it? Well, speak out. <laughs> Tell mom and dad. Okay. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Jesus Christ! You what?
coming. There is crisis. A very dangerous one at that. You see, Sharon, my daughter. Sharon? What, what happened to Sharon? What, what, what is wrong with Sharon, sir? Sir, don't tell me that you and her mother have, 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 have driven her to harm herself. Will you keep silent and hear what I have to say? If you stand there blabbing and Sharon ends up harming herself, I will throw you to the dogs, my friend. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, sir. Sorry. Just... Sorry, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. So, sir, uh, what, what happened to Sharon? What, what happened to my Sharon? Sit down. Yesterday, Sharon broke the news of her pregnancy to her mother and I. Um, in our alarm, we reacted negatively. Uh, we were compelled to reveal a secret we had kept away from her since birth. And her reaction since then has been scary. So, sir, please, can you just, can you just tell me where, where, where Sharon is? And, and just in simple English, just make me understand. Please, sir. Um, Sharon... Sharon has leukemia. Oh, yes. We have tried to keep it away from her all this while. But, uh, I... I... So, 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 where, where Sharon? In her room. So just try and... Dad? Dad? No. Oh, Sharon. Sharon. Dad, Dave said my condition can be managed and can be treated if handled by the right experts. Is that true? Oh, yes, he is. He is. In fact, all your mother and I have done all these years has been to manage you. Uh, Sharon, if you say yes, you'll be flown abroad immediately for treatment. If I say yes. Oh, yes. Baby, for you and for our unborn child. Dad, for you and for mom and for everyone out there. Battling this difficult ailment, I say yes. Oh, oh, my pumpkin, come here, come here, come here. Oh, come, come, sir. Come here, naughty boy. Thank you, sir. Where is mom? 